always an ugly stage in your drawing or painting. In that stage, what do you do? Do you just get angry at yourself and just quit? Or do you continue? If you're one of those who get discouraged or you get really angry at yourself, you have to listen up. You will love this video. You know David Harbour from Jim Hopper character in Stranger Things. I'm going to draw his portrait and while I'm drawing it, I'm going to talk to you about this ugly stage. Before we start, I want to show you something. So this is the graph of joy when you are painting or drawing. So you have Y axis, which is excitement, and you have the X, which is fulfillment. So you feel very excited in the beginning, but you have zero fulfillment, right? You just haven't done anything yet. You haven't produced anything yet, and you are really excited. So you start really high, but then slowly it starts decreasing as you don't see the results as quick as you want. And at this point, at the lowest point of your drawing is the ugly stage. This is what I'm talking about, the ugly stage. So after this stage, what you do matters. The question is, after this point, are you going to continue drawing or are you going to say, this, I'm not going to do anything. And if you continue, you will see that your excitement increases a little bit more as you fall feel more. And then you see like, huh, I think I'm getting there. I see some improvement little by little. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And then finally, you finished at a level with the maximum amount of fulfillment and maximum amount of excitement. You might not like what you did in the end, but it doesn't mean that you didn't complete and you didn't learn anything from that. So let me show you what I mean. Let's talk about the painting or drawing process for a second. So in the beginning, what we do, we just look at the photograph or whatever model we are looking at and get the colors. We try to select which colors we are going to use. We prepare our mixtures, our color mixtures, and then one by one, we start to apply these colors on our paper. In every medium, we follow different techniques, right? For example, because this is pastels, I started on the first layer, which is the base layer of the skin. Maybe you're working with charcoal or you're doing portraits with graphite pencils. Then maybe you started with the left eye first and then you proceeded towards the right eye and then nose and then the lips. Or maybe you like to start from the nose and then when you get bored, you switch to hair. Again, when you're bored from there, you just go and do the chin. There's not necessarily a certain order here, but I know for sure that somewhere in the middle of your drawing or painting session, you will have a very scary stage that your portrait is not going to look like anything. And it's not going to look like the final result that you were thinking in your mind at all. This is the scary part because you're thinking that, oh my goodness, I did everything I knew, I did everything right, and it doesn't seem like it's working. For example, maybe you were trying to paint Taylor Swift and it started looking more like Kim Kardashian. This happens. At this moment, you started to question yourself, where did I do wrong? What am I doing wrong? How am I going to go back now and fix everything? What if it's not going to end up what I want it to look like? This is the moment, guys. This is the moment that you either give up or you continue. And trust me, a lot of people give up here. They don't want to paint anymore. At this very stage, if you have self-confidence and if you believe in your skills and you have high level of self-compassion, then you will move on. You're going to continue saying that, oh, no matter what happens, I'm going to finish this and it's going to look beautiful. Or you can say that nah, if it doesn't look like the way I want it to be, then at least I'm going to learn something. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. So let's finish this and see what it looks like. It's an adventure. On the other hand, if you believe that you don't have enough skills, if you have been told that you are not enough for all your life and you don't believe in yourself, then what's going to happen is that this stage will confirm all your fears. It's going to tell you that, oh, look, you couldn't finish again. You're not doing it right again. You can't finish anything. You cannot be successful at anything. And then because of this, because the painting or drawing makes you feel this way, you give up. Some people even give up 
for good. But this is not the right mindset. Let me give you an example. You are making a cake. I like velvet cake. So let's say velvet cake. You have your flour, you have your sugar, you have your eggs, you have your milk. And as the first step, you're mixing milk, sugar, and eggs. You haven't added any flour yet. You didn't add any baking soda whatsoever. But you suddenly say that, oh my goodness, this is gonna turn out really bad, it looks like. Uh, I should stop making this cake. I mean, it's half finished. You don't know if it's going to end up beautiful or not. You don't know it's going to be tasty or not. You cannot just tell from that stage. Actually, cake is a good example because after you baked it, let's say it didn't rise. And in your mind, you pictured this perfect cake that you're making and the final result didn't look like at all. But you cut it, you eat it, and it's so delicious. So who cares it was not puffy enough? Still, you got something. Still, you learn from it. Next time, you're gonna be more careful. You're gonna add more baking powder. So that's how it goes. In this ugly stage, in this give up stage, another problem that might be causing this could be you are rushing things. You want to see the result right away. So instead of you enjoy the process, you are focusing on the end result. These kind of people usually don't like going on a diet because after one week when they get on the scale, they don't see the result that they want, so they quit dieting. They say like, dieting sucks, it's not working for me. But it just has been one week. You need to be consistent, you need to keep going. You're in the beginning of your process, you're in the middle of your process. And processes take time. Same thing goes with acne treatment. Let's say you have a lot of zits. You wanna just get rid of that acne on your face. And you're using this medicine. The medicine makes it worse first, as you know. And then it starts to get healing. But the process is so slow and you have pimples everywhere. And then you feel like, oh, this is not working. I'm not seeing the result. So I'm just going to quit. But by quitting, you are actually stopping yourself from getting better. Do you get my point? So in the end, I have two suggestions. One, silence that inner voice that says that you can't do anything right, you cannot finish this, or you're not enough. And the second thing is not to rush and enjoying the process and not focusing on the final result, but what you learn and what you get from the process itself. And then you will see that every painting is a source of joy and excitement. I know I talked about the ugly stage in this video. I didn't talk about pastels or pen pastels or soft pastels at all. If you're interested in learning more about them, especially if you are in the beginning level, you have to definitely check out this video of mine. You're gonna learn a lot.